welcome to Eat Your Backyard, my YouTube channel where I talk about all kinds of cool edible, non-edible tropical plants which you might also like. If you do, go ahead and start watching it and subscribe to it. This is a side of my yard known as the Nether Regions. And uh, it's the side of the yard that I've neglected because it was in the shade. It's on the south side of my yard, so it's in the shade most of the year. Uh, but since I'm in Florida, it, when it gets to the middle of the summer, the sun is very close to overhead, so it doesn't get much shade that time of year. But in the winter, it kind of can struggle. But I've decided to re-edify it, meaning re-edibilize it. Put in edible stuff. So I did. And uh, some interesting things here. I put in these Cavendish bananas, which are great banana with variegation on the leaves, as you can maybe see there. Beautiful variegated, black variegation in the leaves. It produces a very sweet fruit. And I get that tall. Got these at Lowe's for almost nothing, like 10 bucks. And then I planted back here a cutting from another Cavendish banana that is actually doing pretty well. So I expect to have that. And we got another one right here. If you look at these leaves, yeah, like if you look at this one, you can really see that, that special beauty of the Cavendish, which is that ver that black variegation on the beautiful glossy leaves. Next to it, I had an old corn plant, which is a type, type of Dracaena, commonly sold as an indoor plant. It will get gigantic, it produces these gigantic flowers. That's the stem for the flower, to give you any idea, which is just huge. I put in a few cuttings of ginger. That's what this is. Ginger, this is a giant type of ginger. Uh, I also replanted a papaya, which as you can see, look at the drip, I like the drip, is producing actual real papayas. And next to it, I had an old sugar cane clump, which, watch this, this is called the sugar cane leaf removal method. No charge for this. And I'll stay done, the whole pile. But sugarcane, so this is green edible sugarcane. Uh, I planted some more of that, so it's gonna be growing. And although you might not think of it as an edible, it certainly is, and that is the red single petaled hibiscus. Hibiscus flowers are actually edible. Uh, and the other thing is that they're also very edible by uh, aphids. So they typically in Florida get tons of aphid related problems which is kind of a pain. So if you eat a hibiscus, you're probably gonna eat a few aphids on the way. And, uh, but they are edible. Now, this is another one that's not thought of as edible, but it still is, and this is the yucca. It's, this, it's the soft tip yucca, which is a relief, because if we were to have a Spanish bayonet and I did this, it would go straight into my hand. So, soft petal, but the flowers, white flowers actually taste a little bit like almonds, and uh, they can be eaten. And then just next to it was another one I grew from all of these I grew from cuttings or seeds, everything that I've showed you. This is a sea grape, and a sea grape will produce a lot of you know, great fruit. And uh, interesting fun fact about the sea grape is if you look at their leaves and you see that redness in the leaf, that was something that Native Americans in this area used to make dye, red dye, for years because of that distinct red nature of that leaf. So anyway, yeah, that's kind of the creative stuff you can do in your yard too, which is pick an area. And, and make it happen over time. You know, all these cuttings took time to grow. They all took time to care for to get them to the point where they're starting to look good now. Now we're in spring, and spring has sprung, and everything's looking green, and I've got the irrigation figured out, and we just fertilized, and so life is good. Life is good. Now we just watch it grow. That's how you can transform a boring corner of the nether regions of your backyard into an edible paradiso. Thank you for watching. Eat Your Backyard. Please don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Thanks for watching.